Welcome back painting friends. Today we are going to paint a picture of the Deathly Hollows from Harry Potter. Um, you are going to need yellow, light blue, dark blue, white, purple, and black. Remember to have a cup of water and some rags for keeping your brushes clean. The brushes I use are my one inch flat brush, my 10, six, and one round brush. So let's get started. I'm gonna start off today by just kind of adding some swishes of color to the background, but I'm gonna start with mostly white and yellow in the center. So we want this to look kind of galaxy-like. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with some colors and just placing them on here. Don't let them mix too much. We'll let them mix in a minute. Just throw some of these colors on there. Once I have some of that yellow on there, I can wipe my brush off. I don't have to wash it off. I'm gonna add smaller spots of light blue in this area. And then as I move outward, I'm gonna add some spots of dark blue. Some spots of purple. In fact, these spots of purple are gonna be significantly more. And then last but not least, I'm gonna paint my edges black. Just a little bit of paint right on these edges. And I'm gonna show you guys a really cool technique to turn this into a galaxy. Okay, so to turn this into a galaxy, I'm actually gonna take my paint rag and I'm gonna kind of bunch it up so that it's not like nice and folded. It's kind of just in a blob. And I'm gonna start right here in the center and I'm just gonna start tapping around. And my goal is to bring some of those colors together to gently mix. So do you see how the galaxy is starting to form? Now, you don't wanna over stamp. So if you start to realize that you're getting only one solid color, you could take your rag, you can flip it around, you can get a new rag, but then go right back to it. So I wanna even bring some of that black into the middle, but not too much. All right, let's get this whole thing done. When you get to a point, you're gonna to have to look at it and think to yourself, well, did I over mix it? Did I get too much of a dark area in? Did I lose some of my white? Did I lose some of my, um, my blue or my purple? And this is what you can do is if you feel like you did that, you can simply refold your rag to a way that it is cleaner or get a different rag. And you can drop some of those colors in right on top. So I'm gonna go and I feel like I lost a lot of my white, which I'm okay with but I'm gonna go in and add spots of white to the top of this color. And then I'm gonna re-blend again, just to kind of move that white around on top. All right, I love my background how it is. Definitely looks like a galaxy to me. I'm gonna let this dry and when we come back, we will add in our Deathly Hollows sign. Now I'm gonna be honest, it'd be kind of hard to change this background if you mess it up. So I would suggest drawing your Deathly Hollow symbol with a pencil. And the Deathly Hollow symbol is a triangle. So I'm gonna look for the center of my canvas and just kind of put a dot there, just a reference dot. And then I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna try to measure out pretty evenly, I can use a pencil if I want to, or a ruler if I want to, where those lines would go. And then I am just simply going to connect the dots. I 
think I might have to use a Sharpie because it is not showing up good. I mean, I can see it, but I don't think you guys can probably see it at home. So I'm just gonna do a very, very, very light Sharpie line all the way down. And then across. Okay, and then in the Deathly Hollows, there's a straight line that comes down in the middle. So I'm gonna draw that straight line down. Goes all the way down to the bottom. And see with a pencil, this is where you can kind of decide like, oh, did I make it wide enough or skinny enough? So I know that for sure, like this is a little bit bigger over here. So I'm gonna make sure that my paintbrush line goes on this side of my Sharpie. And over here, I'm gonna make sure it goes on that side to kind of balance it out. And then in the center is a big circle. So if you have a circle tracer, you can absolutely use a circle tracer. Um, I do not have one down here in the studio, so I'm just gonna wing it. And I am going to create a circle. Um, so then I will take my number 10 round brush and you can choose any color paint you want. I think the black is gonna look great on this. So I'm gonna make then my outline of this as neat as I can. And to make sure my brush strokes are all the same thickness, I like to take my paintbrush and just set it down kind of flat. And that way it makes the same thickness. If you try to hold your paintbrush top to bottom and like paint it in, you're gonna get fuzzy lines. So just hold it down and allow the brush bristles to do the work. After I have my whole line on there, I'll go over the line one more time just to kind of clean it up. For my next part, I am gonna lay my canvas down flat. I like to write my words um, with my canvas laying down. So let me lay my canvas down flat and we will put our words on here. So when I like to paint words, and you can use a Sharpie or a paint pen, but when I like to paint words, I like to water my paint down a little bit so it's a little bit thinner. I'd rather do two coats of paint than um, have it be super, super, super thick. So I just like to water it down a little bit a little bit of water next to my white paint wipe that extra off and then i can grab my paint so i'm gonna write it's real for us and i know a lot of times people will write the word always with this that's really your artist choice so i'm gonna write the word it's real for us and when i write words in paint i just go really slow and i take my time um i usually pull up my computer and i write the words out because when i'm painting um, I don't always pay attention to what I'm doing. I sometimes get lost in the painting. And so if I have the words pulled up in front of me, it's easier for me to focus on what letter comes next. All right, let's stick this back up on our easel and finish it out. 
The very last thing I'm gonna do, and you can choose to add this or not, is I'm gonna use the back of my brush and just add some white dots in the sky. Now I'm gonna kind of cluster mine together. So I don't wanna have dots everywhere. I'm gonna keep like little clusters of dots um, in groups. Last thing, I think you know what to do. When you're finished, you need to pick a color that's gonna show up well on your canvas and sign your artwork. Remember, I never get to see what you're making at home unless you post it to the Facebook page, Painting with a Purpose. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Painting with a Purpose, so you're kept up to date on all of our latest tutorials. And remember, as always, stay kind, stay creative, and stay safe. Have a great day, friends. Bye now.